Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be making green seasoning. So if you're a regular to my channel, you've seen me use green seasoning many times before. I use it to season any meat. So in the past I've used it on curry chicken, I've used it on my jerk chicken recipe, my curry goat recipe, and I actually received a few requests to make this. So as simple as it seems, today I'm going to be showing you how I make the green seasoning. The benefit to having an actual bottle of it is um, useful because the ingredients, they won't go bad. You can store it in the fridge. Everything here is very basic, which means that you can use it for different things. So I wouldn't put oregano or rosemary or French thyme in this because those are really specific seasonings that go well on specific types of meat. And this is just a generic seasoning that I can just scoop out and put a couple spoonfuls on anything that I want and I can guarantee that it's going to be nice and fresh. Also if you notice what a lot of the grocery stores are doing nowadays is they're also making this and they're packaging it. However sometimes you might not want to buy that because who knows if they put preservatives and chemicals and those sort of things in there. At least if you make it yourself you know that the only thing going in there are fresh ingredients fresh seasonings, and of course, just some plain water. The star of the seasoning is something that's actually called Shadow Benny. So this is what they call it in Trinidad. Um, they also call it Culantro in some places. And actually in Jamaica, they call this spirit weed. They boil it and they actually <laughs> bathe in it. And this is supposedly supposed to ward off any duffy or ghost or any evil spirit that's, you know, following you. They don't really use it that much in Jamaica as far as consuming it for meals or using it as a seasoning, but it's actually extremely tasty. That's why I said it's the star of the show. So I just wanted to point this one out in particular. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of what's gonna be going in the seasonings. These are all nice, fresh ingredients that we're putting in there and it's going to stay nice in the fridge. So we have two scotch bonnet peppers, Jamaican hot peppers, and a habanero pepper, whole head and a half of garlic, shadow benny, green onion, a couple sprigs of fresh thyme. This is about half of a white onion. We also have a couple stalks of Jamaican scallion. So like I said, all of this is ultimately gonna go inside of our blender. We're gonna start off blending the garlic with some water on low. Next in goes all of the shadow benny. Some of these things we're gonna have to cut up because just to make the blender's life a little bit easier, but some of these things are also quite soft and can be blended up by the power of the blender with some help of some water. So the shadow bunny can go in there just like that. Again, add a little bit of water and blend. Also, I forgot to mention this, but this is about two tablespoons of chopped ginger. In there, I'm just gonna slice up the onion. This is a handful of thyme, and something that's important to note is that I purposefully selected the softer stalks as opposed to the more firm ones, just so that it can blend out nicely with the rest of the seasonings. Now I'm just adding in the scallion and this is the last of the seasoning.
Okay, so once everything's in there, you just gotta pulse it a couple times on high. That is if you're using a blender. And this is the consistency that you want for your seasoning. There's no visible chunks, but it's still a nice, thick marinade and that's what you want. You don't want something too thin. If you put too much water in it, you're gonna water it down. Yeah, so you just need really about two, three tablespoons of this in your seasoning when you're actually, you know, marinating your meat and you're good to go. It adds a really, really, really nice flavor to it. I can smell the scotch bonnet peppers, all of those flavors really, really, really gonna be nice in here. As for the metric for the amount of water that I used, it was it's in this cup, but I really used about a cup of water. Like I said, not too much water. You don't wanna water your seasoning down. You're gonna wanna get a bottle like this or something similar. It's really perfect. It was just enough for this entire bottle. Close this up and we are ready to use it for our next video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and like this video, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if it was formative. You can share it with somebody if you liked it. Please go visit my channel and watch the rest of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on my next video.